Hey guys, what's up, Pop here, Dingo, right? Nikash, I'm back with another exciting video tutorial. So, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create a burnout tire inside the Sanma 4D by using Turbulence Safety. So, let me show you what we're gonna do here. So, as you can see, we're gonna create this kind of effect inside the Sanma 4D. So, by using Turbulence Safety. So, let's start. I already set up a scene here. This time I'm using this tire for creating a burnout effect. So let's go through in it. So first we need to take a collider for prediction or what we say. As you know, I will show you there. So here we have one collider. So this part when our tire hit this part so uh, they create a smoke so let's start first we need to create this part here so what we do we just simply so we just hide our floor for now we just simply select poly uh, polygon modes and select few polys from there uh, like that don't worry about uh, to exact polygon you can select any part but try to use a lower part from the tire as you can see here we go all the through up like this so little bit more so that's looking okay now what we can do here we just simply right click and split it and now you have your part here so now this is our collider uh, this is our emitter uh, which collide with our tire so they can create smoke so we just rename it with collider so oh sorry emitter you can rename it anything you want so next thing we just add a turbulent safety container so here we go so make sure we have good container going container so we have our container here so just now we need to animate this tire for rotation just make sure you animate only tire object not this collider so here we have something I know I hope so what is that okay we need to delete this first these extra faces so here we go we just go there what we can do here we just remove this okay that's it now we add turbulence safety emitter tab first we apply turbulence safety emitter tab tag on our tire object right click turbulence safety turbulence safety emitter so here we do simple settings just click on clean body and go in forces and add minus one pressure and now we add our turbulence safety tag on our emitter now what we can do is just go in forces and directional force 30 and pressure 2 and now we animate temperature value so we just hold control and click on this button uh, on the left side of this temperature value to zero and go on 10 frame and change it to a uh, 0.5 and go on 30 frame and change it to a 5 and that's that's our values so how it's work let me show you so now we animate our tire here so we just keep add a keyframe on the zero frame and now we just simply add a keyframe on the end frame 
and rotate it like that and click on keyframe now we have our animated tire sorry for that so here we go So this auto frame and like that. So as you can see here, we have an animated tire, but it's too slow. We need to increase it. So we can add again keyframe here. Auto keyframe. You can use anything just a little bit like that and on the frame 90 we just rotate it like this time so now it's a little bit faster so now go to the settings of turbulence safety container click on simulation go in temperature tab and take down cooling from 2% to 0 beyond uh beyond uh, beyond the beyond the from 20 to 0 add turbulence 8 percent 10 percent viscosity wind direction 1 and wind speed 15 and now here is the main thing just go in solar Add frames of step limit to 2 and in closed container boundaries just check these minus x plus x and plus y direction. So now we are ready to go. Now we so, uh, simply hit simula open simulation window and click on start. So. Uh, wait for it because we animate the our temperature so as you can see here something going on there but it starts slowly we just come back after finishing the simulation so you can uh, after I show you how you can use it so I just stop the simulation on 65 frames so as you can see here now we have this kind of result so let me show you uh, how you can render it uh, temperature how you can render this fire into a smoke uh, uh, simulation so click on go in turbulence safety container click on rendering and go on fire shader and channel from temperature to none and go in smoke shader so change uh, mapping a uh, channel from none to density oh uh, sorry temperature now as you can see here when you hit render so you have a smoke shader we need to do some little changing for give it a cool and nice look just add more thickness like a 50 So when you add a thickness, it make your smoke look more dense. So you can change the color of smoke. So we just change it to a little bit brighter and give it a gradient look. Now if you just render it, so as you can see here, it's look you more good looking result. So just go on viewport and change it to a density and sorry just go in temperature and smoke shader so as you can see how it look it's looked really awesome so there is little bit uh trouble uh just increase the size of your container so for give more good result and change the direction of your air pressure so go here and in simulation and change the wind direction from there uh, this uh, I think it's a x-axis so just change it to another axis minus one 
so you can get more good results so this is basic stuff how you can get this kind of look inside this Anma 4D so it's looking really awesome for me I don't know what you think about that so I hope you like this video if you don't for if you didn't subscribe my channel subscribe it now and check out my website so there is a lot of cool things on my website nullpk.com and thanks for watching bye bye